Today we are exploring this derelict 16th century English country house. Oh my goodness me. Now this is very creepy. Look at these old photographs. Oh my God! is going to be probably one of the most impressive that I've ever filmed for this channel. This is right here in the UK, this location. Now you'd expect to find something like this in Europe, like a chateau or something, but the stuff that's been left in this place is just mind blowing. Let's go and check it out and see what we can find. Okay, so we've got quite a few outbuildings here. We've got a small barn with some old stuff left inside here. We've got some old tools and a tool chest, which is pretty cool. We've got an old lawnmower, minus a wheel. Not a lot else in here. Now this site actually dates back to the 1600s. So it's very, very old. You can see we've got some huge barns here. Sadly, this one here has lost half of its roof. Now, I don't think there's much in these, but while I'm here, I'll just have a quick peek inside and show you guys what's in there. Oh, that's cool. Got the old tins of quality street there, look. Wow. You can just tell that these are super old. Oh, that's nice with the light coming through the window there, look. Oh, we can't actually get into that bigger one here. Have to pop back out. Oh, it's quite cold today. Ooh. See, like I was saying, the main house is actually over here in these trees. You can't even see it from here. It's completely overgrown. And this is the biggest barn. Door just there. Oh, look at this. Wow. Now this has got some character. Look at that. Oh, it's a shame it's collapsed at this end. It's a real shame. We've got the old main doors just here, look. Nothing's come through there for a very, very long time. I'm going to take a walk back out. Go have a look in these. Now, I believe this was the shepherd's house. And the door's wide open. I don't think there's a great deal left inside here. But we'll have a look nevertheless. Oh look, the old bathroom. Got cast iron bath there, that's pretty cool. Is there a toilet? Yep, there's a toilet. Goodness me, look at all that up there. It's like a forest growing in the roof. It's all coming through the windows in here. Got an old fireplace there. And we've got a couple more rooms through here. Another fireplace there. an old chair in this one half of the couch oh that's cool like that that's really cool God, you can tell this is an old building the old sink there as well 
we've got a door here. Where does this go? Oh, nowhere. Completely dead end. Okay. Right, let's jump back outside. And I think we've got one more outbuilding to look in before we get to the main house. But I can tell you now, the main house is going to absolutely blow you away. I promise you that. The stuff that's been left in there is unbelievable. Okay, so we've got these last two little bits to look in here. There's quite a lot of stuff in here, actually. There's loads of books there. Massive amount of stuff in there. And the same again in this one. Oh, look at that. Look at the old Mercedes hubcaps. They're cool. They're really cool. I wonder what car they were from. They've got small ramps here as well. Okay, so the main house. Oh look, we've got one more little room here. What's in there? Look, there's loads of stuff in there. Goodness me. Now, the main house is actually through here. You can see it's quite overgrown. Ooh. So here's the main house. Guys, look at this. Now, as I said before, this dates back to the 1600s. Look at it, it's unbelievable. Okay, let's take a walk around and try and find a way in. Okay, guys, I am now inside and I am absolutely speechless. The first thing I saw was this wild ball up on the wall here. Just look at that. That is crazy. It looks like he's been up there for a very, very long time. You can see he's actually starting to deteriorate slightly underneath. That is really creepy. Oh my God, I didn't even see that. That is so cool. I mean, this whole place is just amazing. Oh look, there's another one there. It looks really creepy, that one though. Just look at the architecture in here, it's amazing. Now this building actually dates back to the 1600s. Can you believe that? Oh, look at that. Oh, I think he's seen better days. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nice log burner there. Oh, look, it's very festive. Five Christmas candle on the top. <laughs> We've got a wheelchair over here. Empty cupboards, not much in there. Now this is very interesting. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I think this is a well. And it looks as if there's a hatch there. Yeah, it's definitely a well. I don't know how deep it is. Have a look. <gasps> Bloody hell! <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh my god! That is absolutely ridiculous. That is as deep as a skyscraper, I kid you not. That is absolutely crazy. Hang on, let's find a stone. It's quite rare. All right, okay. We're gonna do a drop test now and see how flipping deep this is because honestly, that has just blown me away. Right, okay. I'm gonna drop the stone on three, two, one. Tell you what, I've got to do that again. I'm going to count it this time. There's one. Okay, I'm going to count this time. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to hit the bottom. Okay, guys, I know there's some of you out there who will know exactly how deep that is just by doing that. Please put it in the comments below because I've got no idea. Tell me how deep that is. That is, do you know what? I'm actually shaking standing next to it, looking down it. You can just see the water glistening at the bottom there. Oh 
Oh my God, that is the deepest well that I've ever found. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, right, so there's an open door just up here. So let's go and have a look up there and see what else we can find in here. Just notice this piano as well, that's cool. Right, let's take a walk up here. Okay guys, so moving a bit deeper into this house. We've got the first room here. Oh my goodness me. This is incredible. I'm actually lost for words. Wow, I cannot believe this is in the UK. This is the sort of thing you expect to see in Europe. This is unbelievable. That looks like Winston Churchill, it is. A huge fireplace here too. And your grandfather clock. I wonder if it still works. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, I just don't know what to say. Look at the old books in there. An old sewing machine down here too, look. That's pretty cool. Singer. Still got the owner's manual as well on top of it. What's this here? Look at this, it's dated 1930. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this. That looks African. Oh, it's really heavy too. That is really heavy. Oh my goodness me. And this is just, the, well, the second room. Look at these photographs, look at that. Swordfish. I'll tell you what, this is the most spectacular room that I've ever been in. It really is. In a derelict property, this is just amazing. All right, let's go and check out the rest. Okay, so I actually walked past this. This is the old kitchen. Oh, God, this is just a time warp. I don't think anyone's lived in this house for decades. Look at the cobwebs in there. And the old food in the cupboards. We can get a date on some of this. Let's have a look at this soup. Look at that, 2002. So that's, what, just over 20 years? My God. Look at all the spices with all the cobwebs over them. This is probably one of the most impressive derelict properties that I've ever filmed for my channel. It's just remarkable, the stuff that's been left here. We've got a stained glass window there, look. That's pretty cool. Okay, so next room. Oh, it's a bathroom. Wow, look how tiny that bath is. That is really, really small. It looks like a sit down bath. Again, look at the cobwebs in here. Time has literally frozen still in this place. I've just noticed we've got some scaffold balls across the floor, so and also a ladder. Oh, it looks as if that staircase has gone there. That's gonna be interesting. 
Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness. Look at the oil painting. And these leather boots. Wow. <laughs> Very festive. We've got a Father Christmas here too, look. <laughs> Oh my, and a huge mirror there too. The ceiling is quite interesting. I look at the plaques across that beam there. And there's a chandelier. Look at this, this is a genuine oil painting. That must be worth an absolute fortune. I look, we've got a photograph here. Possibly one of the residents who used to live here. We've got some more photos there. There's someone riding a horse there. The 21st of March 1998. The photograph was taken in 1960. There's someone there with a shotgun out shooting. I just cannot believe it. This place is remarkable. Look at the furniture in here. This must be worth so much money. Okay, let's go and have a look in this next room. Okay, so this looks like the lounge. Oh, wow. Whoa, look at these pillars. Huge pillars holding the ceiling up. And look at the decoration on the ceiling. So this house dates back to the 1600s. And look at this. Is that real marble? That looks like real marble. Oh wow, look at these. Look, they just haven't been touched for years. Is this open? And look at that, there's just so much stuff in here. That's really cool, that. But not as cool as that. Do you know what? This is the most impressive piece of furniture I think I've ever found. Just look at that. That is really, really cool. This is so nice. Look at that. My goodness, I thought that was actually signed by Princess Diana then, but it's actually a print. blown me away this place to be honest guys it really has look at that there's a mirror behind a pillar it seemed a little bit pointless to be honest having that there oh wow look at those old books down there look at the old chair oh my goodness me look at these books wow <laughs> 1594, that one's dated there. 1594. They must be worth so much money. There's a few photographs here, look. There's like a chap with his dog there. Pretty sure I've seen that lady in one of the previous photos. Wow. I love looking at the old photos. But at the same time, it is very sad as well. Ooh. A bit of broken glass on the floor down there. Wow, absolutely incredible. All right, I think we've got one more room to look at here. Okay, so I need to be a bit careful here because this floor looks as if it's um, collapsed. Yeah, it has. Whoa, yeah, that is really, really dangerous, actually. Okay, I'm gonna be a bit careful. Um, so this looks like it could have been the, the old front door. Look at that, we've got some more pictures there. All the ornaments there on the windowsill. More photos over there. 
Okay guys, well, I have seen a basement, which I might have a quick look down while I'm here. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Look, that's actually a door there. But you can see it's all overgrown outside, so you wouldn't be able to get in and out of here. A little blowtorch hanging up there. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got another stair. So look, there's the staircase. So um, you can see why that ladder's going up across it. I mean, if that beam wasn't holding those up, that, that would literally just fall down to here. Very dangerous. So this is the floor in the room where I was a second ago. And again, you can see it's just so bad. You know, if those beams weren't there, literally this whole place would just collapse. It's such a shame. We've got another huge room here. Look at that safe. Oh, we've got some fresh poops in here. So the uh, local fox or cat's obviously been in here recently. Got some open windows there, they're not big enough to climb through, but um, that's obviously where the animals are coming in. Got a massive fireplace there. This is really cool. Okay, so we've got the first floor to look up now. And we've got to try and get up that staircase, which is going to be interesting, but let's go and have a go. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the, the interesting bit. I'm trying to climb up this, <laughs> holding a camera and a torch, so I've got literally got no hands free. And, uh, ooh, it's a little bit spongy, but almost there. There we go. Look at that window. God. You can actually hear the local farmer out there doing some work in one of the fields. Oh my God. Okay guys, I'm up on the first floor now. And oh my goodness me. I just cannot believe how much has been left here. It's amazing. Like everywhere you look. Look at this chicken here, that's pretty cool. I'm sure some of this stuff is worth an absolute fortune. What's that there? See, look at this. That is actually hallmarked. So that's either real silver or silver plate. And I bet there's stuff like that buried everywhere. Wow, okay, so I've got the first bedroom here. Oh my God. I just don't know what to say. This is incredible. This was obviously the master bedroom at one point. God, look at the cobwebs in here. They are amazing. I'm actually lost for words, I really am. The, uh, the antique. You know, there's just antiques everywhere. Everywhere you look. The curtains are pretty cool. Wow. I need to be careful when I tread in here. Especially for things like that, just look at that. A bit of glass sticking out there. That would really hurt if you caught that on your ankle. This is just amazing. Look at all this jewelry here. Do you know what? I bet some of this stuff is worth an absolute fortune just looking at this here. Some of those clothes, I don't even think they've been worn. They're still brand new. Look at that, is that a real fur jacket there? <sighs> oh, right. Well, 
this is the first bedroom. <laughs> okay, so into the second bedroom, just looking down that hallway. It looks like there's a bathroom at the end there. Wow. <laughs> just wow. This is unbelievable. Look at these cobwebs here. Wow. <laughs> I know I keep saying wow, but it's just amazing. That old clock over there. It's just the sheer amount of stuff that's in this house is, is mind blowing. And it looks like it's been here for a very, very long time. monitor there. Looks like that's some old DVD player, yeah. Oh. oh wow look at those. They're pretty cool. I think they're quite valuable those dolls. You know I mean all this stuff I'm treading on, I mean there must be thousands of pounds worth of antiques here. And it is just completely covered with, wow, <laughs> just everything, absolutely everything that this person owned. I'm still trying to work out what room they were staying in because so far I haven't seen one. You know, there's no way they were living in the last two I've just looked in. Yeah, this is another bedroom up here. Look at that, there's some knives there, brand new, never been opened. I definitely think that hoarding was a problem here. Oh, this room's really, it, look at the, if I turn the torch off, look at that glow that you're getting from the curtain. My goodness me. <laughs> Again, the, the cobwebs hanging from the ceiling here and all that paint peel. As you can see, there's holes everywhere. They've had water damage in here too. I mean, don't forget this, this house dates back to the 1600s. You know, that is very, very old. And look at all this stuff here, look. Do you know what, I'm sure this is real crystal. It's quite hard to tell, but it's really heavy. Is that, is that real silver? That's got some weight to it too. Blimey. I think there's a picture there. Yeah, I'm seeing these people quite a lot. I honestly think that these were the people who lived here. Oh, these cobwebs, look at them. And the ivy that's grown over that window there. Oh wow, look at that. That looks very sort of Victorian-ish. That's not a very good stain on that either. See that? That could be the daughter who used to live here. The old singer sewing machine here, look. There's another one there. That one's got a foot control with it. We've got an old hoover there. Oh, right, I'm gonna jump into the bathroom next, I think. Oh wow, look at the paint pill on that door. That's really cool. Okay, so we've got one more room on this floor and then we've got the top floor to have a look round. A little chandelier there, it's pretty cool. Cupboard here. What's in there? I've got some pipe work, some old laundry. That doesn't look very nice. And we've got the hot water cylinder in there, look. What? That's a weird sound. <laughs> so this is the old bathroom. 
This is the second bathroom I've seen, that little one downstairs. That's a really cool bath, that is. And we've got the taps which are built into the wall there. The control's a little bit higher for the shower. And we've got the ivy coming through the window there. Look at that. That's remarkable. We've got a little bidet down there. Doesn't look like any of this has been used for years. Look at that, we've got some more pottery there. So I'm sure this stuff is worth so much money. You know, whoever buys this house eventually is gonna have their work cut out. Because there is a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> Okay guys, we're gonna run back through and I'm gonna take a look upstairs next. And I think upstairs is the last place to look. Okay guys, so this is the very, very top floor of this house. I think it's a converted loft space actually. And just like everything else, it's just full up. There is so much stuff in here. Wow, I cannot believe it. It's not very big though. Actually, it's just another door. Yeah, this door might go somewhere. I'm gonna have a quick look in here first. Wow, look at all the stuff. It's incredible, look at these old prints. Again, we've got more books in here too. And what's that on the windowsill over there? I'm trying to tread carefully through here. Oh, it's an old photo album, look at that. Wow, look how sun faded they are though. It's probably where it's been left open for so long. It actually looks really delicate, so I'm not gonna flick through it, but as you can tell from these photos, this is a very, very old photo album. I can't see a date anywhere on there, which is a shame. But like I said, it just looks so delicate. I think if I move it, it's gonna fall apart, so we'll have to leave that. Okay. Let's go see where that door goes. I don't know if it, it takes us into another room or, or a corridor. We're just about to find out. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, this is really creepy up here. Really creepy. Oh, there's another small room here. The floor walls are all lifted in this room. Oh, yeah, not very safe. Oh, I thought that was a bird nest, but it's actually, I think it's insulation which has fallen through. And that, no, maybe it is. Or maybe it was a bird nest which has fallen down. God, the stuff in here is just so old. Oh, wow, look at that. I've got no idea where they're from. Looks like a tree on the button. Guys, if any of you know what this jacket or these jackets were used for, please just pop it in the comments below because I'd love to know. Right, I think we've got one more room up here. God, there's so much stuff in here. Ah, oh, look at this. The night before Christmas. Wow, they are creepy. Look at that, there's a little spitfire there on the windowsill. Okay, this is the last room upstairs. The attic space. We've got the cold water storage tank up there. Oh, look at the old Victorian high chair. That is super, super cool. That is really cool. Quite creepy, but... Do you know what, it'd probably clean up really nice as well. God, there's so much stuff here. That looks like an old Hoover. It actually looks like a space heater, but I do think it is a Hoover. And these look like, um, I think they're like for a train set. Shame they're damaged. Lots of old wallpaper there. Old chest, that's pretty cool. There's still a few bits in there. Oh, do you know what? 
I'm going to see if I can find a date on this newspaper. Because this looks so old. Oh, guys, look at this. This newspaper is from 1939. That is unbelievable. I almost feel bad putting it back in screwed up, but that's how I found it. So that's how it goes back. Well, guys, I am absolutely blown away by this place. It is just amazing. It is absolutely incredible. Look, the amount of stuff that's been left here and how old it is. Incredible. Right, I'm gonna run around and take some pictures, guys, and then I'll see you back downstairs. Right guys, well I'm all done here now. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, I put all the pictures on Facebook. Ten of the best on Instagram, and I'll see you on the next video soon.